and never show my head bang. These were guys that were truly dangerous. I've witnessed a lot of things. My name is BJ, born justice a lot. You have to continue to train. You just can't do this and just say that's it. It's like football or anything. It's constant training. You can get you get rusty or you get slow. You know, it's just like a camera, like a job. In philosophies of fifty-two. You know, that's a serious question, and it makes you backtrack. It makes you really go back in history. You hear me? Because when you start talking about the brothers that got together and put together the 52 in some safe fashion or form, these was individuals that was into the hand movement first, just the boxing. You hear me? But they wanted to take boxing to another level because everybody in my damn time, which is the 60s and 70s, they just love boxing. So they started creating methods, techniques, you hear me? To, and add it on to boxing to take it to another level. And some of the methods and techniques that we use to incorporate with boxing to create the 52 was martial arts. You know, it was a little bit of karate, it was a little bit of kung fu, it was a little bit of stadio, you know, stadio, you name it, we incorporated it, you know. But that's what the 52 really consists of. It was a defense for boxing that was out of ordinary. It was an offense added on to boxing that contradicts the rules of boxing and took it to another level. Where again, it was a combination of two. It was boxing at its best with martial art. Elbow blocks, that's part of 52. You know, uh, in boxing we teach you how to throw a jab, straight, pop, pop. Straight out, straight back. In 52, your jab comes from anywhere. Your hook may come from anywhere. Before I met Sparks, my body puncher was eh, okay. Mm. But when I met him, when we came in contact with one another, it was like a fusion. That's right. I just exploded. He turned me into the best body punch I could ever be. I don't right. think I could get no great on body punching if it wasn't for him. Show you the signs of what you have standing here before you is Echo individual that I reached out to when he was a baby. Mm. And gave him what little I knew back then, years ago. This is before I even started my 31 years behind the wall. I gave him what little I had. Right. He took it to a level, level, and he became a teacher. And this is part of his student right here too. That's right. This is one of his students. Which only goes to show you have before you brothers that love the art to the point where it's, if youngsters come along that want it, they're going to get it.